what is going on everyone welcome back to another video today we're doing a video on call of duty ghost and uh today i'm going to show you guys the best class ups for this game uh for an ar class and i'll do a separate video on smgs and everything else but let's dive in here what i have here for my first ar class up is the sc 2010 what i use on this weapon is a reflex sight you don't have to use it but the re but the iron sights are pretty decent on this gun I just like using it better because uh, it improves my accuracy by a mile. Muzzle will break so I can get those uh, long shots and and uh, where the damage starts to drop. And then whatever we can use. Let's use, I think, I like precision actually. C4 because I am actually the biggest uh, freaking player, pub stomper ever. I love using C4. It is amazing. And then tactical is a concussion. And this SC2010 is one of the most dominating ARs in this game. It, is, it reminds me of the ACR from Modern Warfare 3. And uh, I think in competitive play, it's been already patched. But uh, we'll see what happens there. And then I run the standard concussion. Here's my perks. I don't want you guys to pay attention to this. I use Ready Up because it's basically dexterity in Call of Duty Ghost. It's amazing. And then, so I can aim fast without the weapon coming up. Stalker is the must-have perk on any assault rifle, because then you can't strafe, and you can't move at all. This game is all about movement. Quick draw, again, all about movement, so I can aim as fast as I can. Here we have ready, or I mean reload while sprinting. So when you're uh, going for, into a gunfight, you kill one person, you kill another person, you can run and re reload at the same time, and engage this third person. And uh, whenever I can't use anything else, I use this perk. It's the gambler perk. You spawn for random perks. So you say you can spawn with even dead eye or whatever. One of these is, or off the grip. I wanted to put that on, but I couldn't put it on. And then strike. A satcom. This is what I use for every class up. Satcom, uh, behind and halo pilot. That's what I use. And here we have my second AR class, which is my main AR class. I use it, like to use this one more because I in, in Black Ops 2 I was like a the biggest M8A1 player ever. That's the only gun basically I use. So here we have an MSPBS. It is basically the M8A1 from Black Ops 2 with even more damage. So here I just put a reflex on. If you want, you can put a muzzle break, but I doubt you need that. Or you can put FMJ slash ar armor pier piercing. Actually, I, th I think I still have two more lots of perks right here so what I will I'll tell you guys to do is put armor piercing right on this weapon then I would tell you to put uh you put you would put uh I think I put a gambler on and then I would put on the go so that's what perks I would use S again this is the most powerful AR and overpowered weapon in the game and this is just a fun weapon to have with and so I'll walk you guys through the perks right here. I have Ready Up, which is a dexterity. Stalker, which is, again, again, you can't really do anything without this with an AR. Quick Draw, Steady Aim to increase my hip fire. We have real, we have On The Go and Gambler once again. And I'm running the same score streaks right here. And I'm not running any tacticals or uh, lethals. So right here I'm running a Reflex, uh, FMJ, or Ar Armor Piercing. And guys, this is my first Call of Duty Ghost video. If you guys can leave a like, that would be great. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.